the most common mistake for pterygoid implants? Yeah, so the most common mistake is for sure not locating the lateral pterygoid link. You need to fill it with your flap elevator because that will, that will tell you very well where you have to start uh, drilling for your implant. And uh, in fact, the other day this happened in our life surgery bootcamp in Brazil. You know, we had this guy who thought he did locate uh, the lateral wing, but he was carving a hole in the bone. And he was feeling it very solid because he was feeling uh, the instrument inside the bone, but it was not the real end of the tuber. You know, so in these situations, you have to you have to have absolutely zero questions, zero doubt that you have located the three landmarks. This is just one of the three, but this is a very important one because this will tell you your limit. And if you don't find your limit, and if you don't know your anatomy, you are going to be in trouble real soon. So make sure you locate all the three landmarks, make sure you are absolutely positive about the place you are, and your pterygoid surgery will be you know, super easy. You don't even need to take an x-ray to do this, but you need to know your anatomy.